Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Wireshark is like a postal inspector, meticulously examining each envelope, revealing its contents, and piecing together the bigger picture of the network. In the wrong hands, this powerful tool can be used for nefarious purposes, like eavesdropping on phone calls or stealing sensitive data. By capturing and analyzing network traffic, hackers can potentially intercept and even listen to your private conversations, compromising your security. This is particularly concerning with voice over internet protocol, VoIP calls, which are increasingly becoming the norm for both personal and business communications. Understanding how Wireshark works is the first step towards comprehending the potential vulnerabilities of VoIP calls and other digital communications. When you make a phone call over the internet, your voice is converted into digital packets of data that are transmitted over the network. These packets travel through various routers and switches to reach their destination. These packets, like digital envelopes, contain snippets of your conversation along with information about the source and destination of the call. Each packet is a small piece of the larger puzzle that makes up your entire conversation. Wireshark intercepts these packets, much like a listening post intercepting radio transmissions. It acts as a powerful tool for network analysis. It captures the raw data flowing through your network and presents it in a readable format. This makes it easier to understand the complex data structures this allows anyone with access to your network and the know-how to use Wireshark to potentially eavesdrop on your calls. The implications for privacy are significant. The process is surprisingly straightforward. Even a novice can learn to use Wireshark with a bit of practice. Once Wireshark is running, it captures all data packets traversing your network. This includes not just VoIP calls, but all types of data. By applying filters, Hackers can isolate the packets related to your VoIP call. This makes it easier to focus on specific types of data. Think of it like sifting through a giant haystack for a needle. The filters help narrow down the search. Wireshark acts as a powerful magnet, pulling out the specific pieces of data related to your phone call from the massive amount of network traffic. This makes it an invaluable tool for both network administrators and potential hackers. Linphone is a popular open-source application that allows users to make voice and video calls over the internet. It's free, versatile, and works on various devices, making it a favorite for individuals and businesses alike. However, its open-source nature means its inner workings are readily available to anyone, including those with malicious intent. This transparency, while beneficial for development and security audits, also makes it easier for hackers to understand how Linphone transmits voice data, making it a potential target for eavesdropping. When you use Linphone to make a call, your voice is converted into data packets using a specific audio codec. These packets are then labeled and tagged with information about the call, including your IP address and the person you're talking to. This information, readily accessible within Wireshark, provides hackers with a roadmap to not only identify your call amongst the network traffic, but also to potentially capture and reconstruct your entire conversation. For a hacker to listen in on your calls, they need access to your network. This access can be gained in several ways. This could be through a compromised Wi-Fi router, which might have been tampered with or configured to allow unauthorized access a malicious app on your device, which can secretly transmit data to the hacker, or even physical access to your network cable, allowing direct interception of data. Once they have access, the process is relatively straightforward. The hacker can then proceed with their eavesdropping activities. First, the attacker starts Wireshark and selects the network interface to monitor. This is a crucial step in setting up the eavesdropping. This could be your Wi-Fi connection or Ethernet port, depending on how the hacker has gained access. Next, they might initiate a call with their target, even a silent one, to establish a connection, to easily identify the target's IP address and the ports used for VoIP communication. This information is vital for the next steps. Using this information, 
the attacker can apply filters in Wireshark to isolate the packets related to the target's conversations. This makes the data more manageable. This filters out the noise of other internet traffic, making it easier to focus on the relevant data, leaving a stream of data packets containing the targeted voice data. These packets can then be analyzed further. Imagine a fisherman casting a net with specifically sized holes. This analogy helps to understand the filtering process. Only the fish they want gets caught, while the rest are left behind, while the rest swim free. This selective process is similar to how data packets are filtered. That's what the hacker is doing, isolating your call data from the rest of the network traffic, making it easier to eavesdrop. Isolating your call data from the rest of the network traffic, making it easier to eavesdrop on your conversations. Section 5. Red Alert – Identifying Voice Data in the Packet Flood even with filters in place, identifying the specific packets containing voice data requires further analysis. These packets are often labeled with specific protocols used for VoIP communication, such as RTP, which stands for Real-Time Transport Protocol. By looking for these protocols within the captured packets, hackers can pinpoint the exact data streams carrying the conversation. These packets often contain timestamps and sequence numbers, allowing the attacker to reassemble the conversation in the correct order. Think of it like piecing together a jigsaw puzzle. Each packet is a piece, and the protocols, timestamps, and sequence numbers are the guides that help the hacker reconstruct the complete picture, which in this case is your conversation. Section 6. Making sense of the noise. Reconstructing conversations from packets. Once the attacker has isolated the voice data packets, they need to convert them back into audible sound. This involves extracting the audio payload from each packet and reassembling it in the correct order based on the timestamps and sequence numbers. Wireshark has built-in tools that can do this, allowing the attacker to literally play back the captured conversation. The clarity of the reconstructed audio depends on various factors, such as the quality of the internet connection and the audio codec used. Imagine taking a recording and chopping it up into thousands of pieces, then shuffling them. That's what the attacker has to reverse. Wireshark helps them put the pieces back together, reconstructing your voice from the digital fragments. Section 7. The High Stakes of Eavesdropping, Legal and Ethical Implications Eavesdropping on someone's phone calls without their consent is a serious breach of privacy and a criminal offense in most jurisdictions. The legal consequences for such activities can be severe, ranging from hefty fines to imprisonment. Beyond the legal ramifications, the ethical implications are equally significant. Intercepting and listening to private conversations is a violation of trust and can have serious consequences for the individuals involved. It is crucial to remember that using Wireshark and similar tools for eavesdropping on unsuspecting individuals is illegal and unethical. These tools are designed for legitimate purposes, such as network troubleshooting and security analysis, and should only be used in ethical and legal ways. Section 8. Shielding Your Calls Encryption as Your Digital Armor one of the most effective ways to protect your VoIP calls from eavesdropping is to use a service that offers end-to-end -end encryption. This means that your voice data is encrypted on your device and can only be decrypted by the intended recipient's device. Even if an attacker intercepts your data packets, they will be unable to decipher the encrypted content. Many popular VoIP providers now offer end-to-end -end encryption by default. Think of encryption as putting your conversation in a locked box that only you and the person you are talking to have the key to open. Even if someone gets hold of the box, they won't be able to understand what's inside without the key. Section 9. Staying safe in a world of open airways, best practices. While encryption is crucial, there are additional steps you can take to enhance your VoIP security. One. Use strong, unique passwords for your VoIP accounts and Wi-Fi networks. Make it harder for attackers to gain access in the first place. 2. Keep your devices and software up to date. Security updates often patch vulnerabilities that attackers could exploit. 3. 
Be cautious about the information you share online. Avoid disclosing personal details that could be used to identify or locate you. 4. Be wary of public Wi-Fi networks. If you must use them, consider a VPN to encrypt your traffic. By following these steps and remaining vigilant about your online security, you can significantly reduce the risk of becoming a victim of VoIP.